And then the last fiction one I'm gonna share with you today, this was by LeBron James, the famous basketball player. It's called We Are Family. And it talks about an elite basketball team in the city of Lorain, Ohio called the Hoop Group. And it's told about Jaden who really, his, 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 he, his mom and his grandma could really use the money that he would get if he actually made it to the NBA. Um, Tamika, whose dad actually is the coach of the Hoop Group, but he's struggling with Parkinson's and it might cost the team the ability to keep going. And then there's Chris, whose uncle actually made it into the NBA and he just unfortunately just doesn't have the talent his uncle has and he's having a hard time living up to his dad's expectations of him. And then Anthony, who really he has no choice. He either gets on the team or he's gonna get expelled from, expelled from school. And then there's Dex, who lives with his single mom and are really struggling with some poverty issues. So this is the story of these five teens and whether or not they can bring themselves together in order to win big. So if you like basketball stories, you'd enjoy this, but if you also like to hear about the athletes behind the, bas the basketball, you'll enjoy that as well. So those are the fiction stories. Let's look at some of the non, um, I'm sorry, graphic novels. Um, the la this is a part of the last Kids on Earth series, and this is Thrilling Tales from the Treehouse. And this is actually six short stories about this world that take place between book number six and book number seven. So there are a couple spoilers for book number seven in here, but if you are in love with the last Kids on Earth and want to hear more about the adventures of the kids in the treehouse, treehouse during the zombie apocalypse um, well more of a monster apocalypse you'll enjoy this and this one is also now in a series on Netflix so that's called the last kids on earth thrilling tales from the treehouse Ms. Marvel, Stretch Thin, is the story of Kamala Khan, who is actually Miss Marvel, and she is currently in school. She's trying to be a good friend. She's trying to become a fanfic writer, and she's just really having a hard time keeping up on all of her responsibilities, including her responsibilities as Ms. Marvel. Um, and unfortunately, a robot is trying to infiltrate the Avengers Towers, and she's going to have to figure out how she's going to fit in saving the world on top of everything else. The Dragon Path by Ethan Young is a story of Prince Singh, who is heir to the throne of the Wong clan. And he and his family are in search of a new, a new place to live, a better place to live in the old land. But in order to get there, they have to travel the dangerous dragon path that is guarded by the dragon tribe. And unfortunately, um, they are attacked while they are on the path and Prince Singh ends up getting separated from his family. Um, and he realizes that there is a traitor amongst, amongst his group. And he must figure out who that is and get back to his family in order to survive. It's called the Dragon Path. The Bright Family is the story of an extremely brilliant family. Um, when mom's off saving the world, dad's buried in his laboratory inventing incredible things, um, and 12-year-old Nia is trying to win every competition in regards to um, um, robots and building things. And then there's Jaden, and Jaden really is just trying to get out of his homework so he doesn't have to do his chores. But unfortunately, a portal ends up opening up in their spaceship, and mom and dad get whisk whisked away, and the kids don't really know where they've gone so now they're going to go with their robot nanny named Dusty to see if they can rescue their family and get them back together. Okay. If you like stories about geniuses you'll enjoy this but if you also like stories that take place in space you'll enjoy that and just reminder graphic novels written in comic book format. There's a new one in the Nat series. This one is called Absolute Nat. And Absolute, and Natalie is off to summer camp. And she, unfortunately, is not going with her best friends. And she gets stuck with her ex-best friend, Lily, and an extremely annoying person named Millie Flatbottom. And there's mosquitoes. And there's a lot of things that Natalie really just doesn't want to do. And she's going to be forced to face some of those fears to see if she can get through summer camp without getting eaten alive by mosquitoes and extremely annoyed by the people around her absolutely not. If you like books like Smile and Rules and things like that, you'll enjoy that. Hookie is a fun, magical tale about twin um, witches, Danny and Donnan, who one day miss the bus to their magical school and end up getting branded as traitors to their kind and are on the run from people who would like to hunt them down because they believe that one of them is the prophesied king of witches and is not meant to be doing good things. So the two of them are looking for some friends to help them get out of the mess that they find themselves in. So it's called Hookie. 
Now the sixth one is called City of Secrets and it's not a new one, but the newest one in this series is out, which is called City of Illusion. So you'll find both of those um, listed on the form if you'd like to put them on hold. But in the City of Secrets, I'm just gonna set the um, stage for the story, is about a boy named Ever. And Ever is living in the switchboard operating facility that kind of connects their whole city of Oscar together. And he's hiding something. Well, he's actually guarding something that he doesn't even realize that he's guarding. Um, but he's an orphan, his family is gone. Um, and Hannah is the daughter of the building's owner and she really believes he needs a friend. Um, but he, what they don't know is that Ever's being watched very closely by an operator named Lisa and by Madam Alexander who is in charge of the whole operation. And it's because they know about the secret that Ever is keeping. And when a band of rogues demands access to the building in order to capture Ever's, Ever's and Hannah and Lisa and Madam Alexander have to do what they can to keep his secret safe. So that's City of Secrets and then City of Illusions is number two and it's out. All right, let's look at some nonfiction. I have two new ones in the History Smashers series. Um, one is History Smashers Pearl Harbor and the other is History Smashers American Revolution. If you like history books, if you like to learn about what actually happened rather than all the things that we've kind of heard that aren't necessarily true, you'll enjoy these somewhat graphic novel um, retellings of what actually went on. For example, Pearl Harbor, a lot of people believe that it was kind of an unprovoked attack by the Japanese when in fact a lot of military officials did think that Pearl Harbor was going to be a target, but nobody would listen to them. And then the American Revolution, we've all heard the story of Paul Revere riding into Concord um, with his two lanterns lit. And in fact, he was captured before he ever made it there. So this one just kind of talks a little bit more about the accurate history rather than the tall tales that we have often heard. The Confidence Code for Girls. This one is taking risks, messing up, and becoming your amazingly perfect imperfect, totally powerful self. And this is just a guide for young women who are learning to, to gather their confidence, to be the best, their best selves, and different tips and tricks that they can use to try to help them be more confident in who they are and the things that they do. Um, if you like personality type quizzes and stuff like that, you probably would enjoy looking through this book. Ugly is a really great memoir for those of you who might have read Wonder and really loved it. And this is a story about Robert Hogue. And he actually, um, as he says, was born ugly. He had multiple surgeries on his face, leaving him rather misshapen. And he talks about what that was like growing up, kind of the difficulties he had with his surgeries. For example, he wasn't allowed to learn to swim until he was much older and how, how much that made him feel left out at the pool during the summer. Um, and he also talks about how cruel people can be and what he does to kind of get past that and to really just be himself and to accept who he is and what, what he looks like. It's called Ugly. True Stories of Heroes is a collection of short stories about firefighters and the dangers that they get themselves into um, when they are trying to rescue people. So each one is a different um, hero's tale. I have another new one in the Action President series. This is number three. This one is all about Theodore Roosevelt, who was just one of the stars in the Newsies production at the high school. And this talks about why Roosevelt was so incredible and the things that he did. Did you know that he once gave a speech when he had a gunshot wound in his chest? Um, so this talks about some of his adventures and the things he did before becoming president and things he did while he was president. He was really quite an amazing guy. This next one is called The Junior Astrologist's Handbook, and this is a kid's guide to astrological signs, the zodiac, and more. So if you ever like to read your horoscope in the newspaper or online, um, if you'd like to know, like for example, if you're a Sagittarius, what are the best ways to help you get through school? This book tells you, um, it talks a lot about the different personality traits of each zodiac sign. It talks about what kind of things they might be good at, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are. Um, and if you just like, you know, kind of seeing if any of those things hold true for you, you might enjoy this book. Got a big one coming up. This one is called Monstrous. This is actually a science book. It's the lore, gore, and science behind your favorite monsters. So you'll find the information here about vampires, werewolves, the kraken. Um, you'll have uh, zombies in here, Bigfoot. Um, Frankenstein, Godzilla, and it talks a lot about the stories behind these monsters and what scientists believe might be accurate or inaccurate in regards to any of them. Okay, and it's very, it's got a lot of great illustrations. This is one all about werewolves. 
how to build brick airplanes. This is definitely for your Lego enthusiasts. This gives, enthusiasts, this gives you step-by-step -step instructions for how to build um, military um, aircraft such as jets, bombers, and warbirds. So if you have a big pile of Legos at home and are looking for something new to build, you might wanna give this one a try. And then the last nonfiction I'm gonna to share today, this one is called Sky Gazing, a guide to the moon, sun, planet, stars, eclipses, and constellations. So it doesn't just look at the star positioning in the sky, which it does have that in there, but it also talks about the planets and the moons and the other things that you will see in the sky. It tells you how things work and where, depending on where you live, where you should be looking. So it's called Sky Gazing. Hope you find something to enjoy.